joining us live now is Paula Marcelos, the uh, Mayor of Waverley Council. Um, Paula, I was talking to you when this was all fresh, when it was happening on Saturday night. It's, it, are you any clearer to getting your head, wrapping your head around things? Well, um, I'm still uh, pretty shocked, but I think uh, it's now the, the realisation of the, the immensity and the scale has hit home like it has for a lot of people and uh, I spent quite a long time in Bondi Junction Mall yesterday from six in the morning um, and you know you can see lots of people coming through laying floral tributes and, and I think what's happening now people are moving and myself included from that incredible sense of disbelief at the utter senselessness of this act through to people now feeling incredible grief or anger, and you can see how everyone has um, is coming to the mall to lay the floral tributes. It gives people some something to do in terms of um, acknowledging there. You also see a lot of people who um, have come will have been staying there. Uh, I think there's been a need for people to be with other people um, to be able to support each other to express that grief. Mm. Um, so, you know, as a council, we're now looking to see what we can do from a, a perspective of supporting people. This morning, Allegra, Spender, Marjorie O'Neill, Kelly Sloan and I will be discussing having some kind of a physical event, like a vigil or something. Um, so we're really concerned to be there for the community, support them and help process what happened so that everyone can at least get some kind of closure on this? Yeah, uh, where, where would you where would you consider having the vigil in a, in a place that would be big enough, Paula? Because I imagine so many people would would want to attend. Look, this is something that we're discussing this morning, and I think the the important thing is to for people to stay tuned on Waverley Council social media um, because there's a lot of information there. It includes what kind of support services are available. Um, the department um, and the state government have been extremely supportive. You know, they've actually got people there at Bondi Junction, physical counsellors to help support people. Um, we'll be uh, making more announcements there. Um, so this is something that is going to take some time for people sure. to, to heal over. But importantly... Um, the, the key piece of information I think that's come out and has given people some, some comfort is that this is a person who was acting alone. Um, he was not driven by any kind of ideology, but that he was someone who was suffering from mental health issues. And, and I think people really need to um, sort of take that on board, at least that's something, and that the, the threat is now over. Yeah, and really, it's about how we come together as a community. In the yeah, well, I mean, yeah, and and you're working on that that meeting taking place this morning. Okay, we'll we'll wait to see what emerges from that. Just finally, I mean, as as already been revealed on this program today, the investigation at um, Westfield Bondi has now finished. Uh, custody has now been returned back to Westfield, but um, it's still going to remain closed. Though it's got to be cleaned up whether staff are ready to return home, uh, return there, we're not sure. But given it's such an economic engine room of the area, Paula, when do you think it's it's right to open up again? I, look, really, I think that that's Westfield's call, the centre group's call. Um, and we certainly are in communication with them and we will be supporting them in their decision-making okay. as to when they think it's right. They're, they're obviously having as a priority um, making sure that their own people, you know, their own staff uh, have, have had the counselling and support that they need, rightly so. You know, particularly as one of their, um, their security guards lost his life and that there's another security guard who's actually in hospital who was injured. And I think that's going to take some time for um, the Westfield staff to actually process this so we'll certainly be guided by the centre group because um you know it's, it's like a village in there it's so large and there are so many businesses yeah. but ben, but bondi junction is a, a retail hub and so there are lots of other businesses around so um i'm sure that there'll be a lot of people um who will and a lot of businesses that will also be 
um, thinking of that, you know, our masts are half, our yeah. flags are our half mast, and I asked for that to occur yesterday. So there'll be lots of these sorts of symbols of respect um, throughout Bondi Junction. I yeah, imagine. I remember those those floral tributes when when the Lint Siege happened. They were massive, and uh, I would expect a similar thing happen happen there at Bondi Junction. Paula, really appreciate your time here yeah, as we take those uh, live pictures back again from where that uh, tribute is growing by the minute. Paula, thank you so much for your time.